I've chosen this uh, setting deliberately, although the liturgical sacramental celebration of Jesus for three hours on the cross was uh, two weeks ago now, uh, for many people today, uh, Good Friday has not come to an end. Uh, we're experiencing a long Good Friday. Early in the year, everything seemed to be fine for 2020. Then out of the blue, we've been afflicted, haunted by this coronavirus. And of course, it's not just, uh, it doesn't just affect the medical profession or those that are sick, but the wider community. In our own way, we've all been haunted by what is happening at this time. And of course, it's difficult to see the face of God or, in the case of the disciples on the way to Emmaus, to recognise the face of Jesus in what is happening at this time. But this is a special time, isn't it? A, a unique time in many ways. And I do hope that we are using it uh, adequately well. Not just extra television, extra spring cleaning, but to use it to develop other important aspects of our life, our spiritual life, our meditative reading of the Bible, perhaps the Novena, the Rosary, and, uh, and certainly, as far as possible, helping our neighbour in need as far as we can. As a Redemptorist community here in St Mary's, we, we, we pray uh, three times a day. And I can assure you that at the heart of our prayers is this uh, people experiencing this long Good Friday. That soon the cloud may be lifted and that we may gather together again to celebrate what Jesus celebrated as a mass, the breaking of the bread and the sharing of the word of God. Um, may I wish each and every one of you, uh, not forgetting those of course that are sick at this time, every Easter blessing and joy. And let us continue to pray for one another and those who particularly need our time at this season.